What, every two steps? Bow. <laughs> okay, a whole team of wild wolves, that's new. And I blocked the first attack! Go Zest! Like, that's even needed. Uh, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, and we're off for, um... More Final Fantasy Anniversary Edition. In the last episode, we had a little bit of trouble accessing the boat minigame, and I kind of bailed on it because I pressed Circle and X the, this, the right amount of times, four different times, and it didn't access. So, we got a little lost on the way to the next area because the map was a little bit inconclusive in terms of its colour mapping, but hey, we made it, and we started a battle with five wild wolves, which I haven't actually seen in Let's Play anyway, so I thought I'd just start off with this battle. And yeah, I'm just on my way back to Elfheim right now, so in the next, uh, yep, I'm gonna cut until I meet you there. Unless we bump into an ogre chief, which is new. They're more, they're basically more stronger than ogres. That's the only thing, but that means they're gonna be a pain in the boom. So I'm gonna make everyone target the ogre, except for Daewoo, who can hit him with a fire. I think that'll be the better part of Valor here. Good thing I was actually recording here in order to, um, you know, just in case if stuff like that happened, and that did not knock him out. I'm surprised. Everyone attack him, that should be enough at this point. Probably not. <laughs> oh no, we've done it. There we go. Alright, we're going to have a look at his stats at this point. Whoa, that's a lot of money. That was 500 gil right there. Wait, it's 495, you know what I mean. Okay, so ogres, yeah, look at their defense. It's 10, 14. They hit a little harder, they have only slightly more health though, whoops. Yeah, those things were quite just tanky as well, but the stuff we're going, normally going against, which is like, uh... Yeah, the werewolves, they have a defense of 6. Wild wolves have no defense at all, which is kind of strange actually, because... The original wolves... Oh no, they don't have defense either! Okay, so we're just doing clean damage. Alright, good to know. Alright, so if I don't have any more encounters that we need to show, I'll meet you back in Elfheim. So yeah, as you see, what I normally do is that I make my way to the dungeon after derping about just a little bit, just to scope out the enemies, get them added to the bestiary, even though that's not something I go for 100% or no way, I just do it just for the hell of it, but, um, because I don't think I'm going to be strong enough either, but once I get there, I go into those rooms on the, on the upward entrance for when you enter the uh, marsh cave, and then once I've grabbed all that stuff there, because it's mostly money, I come back and I have way more money than I need to buy all the, uh, well, at least a couple of the spells that I need. But first, I need a rest because I am weak. So, give me a moment, I'm gonna cut this out. That's 100 gil, maybe I should have went to Cornelia. It's only a short boat ride. Nah, I'll do it next time. And I guess I didn't cut this out because I was talking about my plans for next time. So I will do that next time. Cornelia is, like I said, short trip away, only 30 gil. You're not gonna encounter much on the boat. I should have done that. Anyway. Let's go to the black store, and what I want to buy, first of all, is fire, because that'll be super helpful. Uh, what's my next spell? Uh, Thunderer, of course. I don't know why I have to look at my listings in order to find that out. And, um, Nose Evasion of All Foes. Doesn't sound very Black Mages. Paralyzes one fire. I think that'll be a lot more helpful. I mean, like I said, it's my listings, That's, but I was thinking, do I want to change that? But then I realised, hang on, no, someone else has that, I believe, so that's what I want for you. I have some puzzles installed for you. <laughs> Shit! Undertale, oh yeah, if Undertale is realistic, it's finally back up. It's a little different, but I, I, I love it all the same. It's the jokes and the voice acting I love the most, and the animation. The music doesn't bother me much at all. In fact, the voices are a lot more clearer as well. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. What do I want here? I want heal first, don't I? Heal. Oh, I do want Dyra though, but I don't have enough money for that, which sucks. I definitely want heal though, that would definitely be helpful here. Uh, what can... Oh yeah, we got that broadsword I can sell. Damn, okay. Uh, uh, rewind. Back to a store. I need a store that I can sell stuff in. Uh, you'll do. You'll do. I'll come down here. I know I could bought, buy them the uh, copper armlets, but I'd rather not do that. That's 70 gil. That helps. Sell that. Uh, broadsword, 225. That helps. Okay, we're back up to that point. Uh, I like how I bought those extra tents, but I don't actually need them. Kinda sucky. 
Anyway, let's come back over here and buy what I actually want. It's annoying that you can't sell stuff in these stores, but it does make sense all the same. Because I definitely want Cura, because, you know, that's a healing spell, and that's always good. Wait, hang on. Yeah, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So I definitely want Cura. You would think I would buy Cura first and heal, because then in the menus it would be like Cures rather than a Cure, but Heal is basically Cure that heals everybody, so it has more priority in my case. And uh, Dyra, we don't need that for now, so I am going to put that off for a bit. But I definitely want to get Cura. I definitely want to get Cura. So we can't get Blizzara right now. In fact, can we learn level 4 spells now? Magic level 3, magic level 3, so we can't learn level 4 spells yet, even if we could afford it. Because I would like, like I said, Blizzara, because those uh, green slimes near the end of last episode are weak to that. And normally they appear in twos, but they can appear in large numbers, I believe, on average, three or four. But that means I'm just going to have to do just pop off one spell every now and again. It would be cheaper, though, to hit more than two with one Blizzara, because I believe it's got an MP cost of 12 or something. But that's like eight for each cast, so you can see how it eats up a bit of your magic. I mean, of course, in the older versions, like PlayStation 1 and below... Uh, the old magic point system, which means that, um, for example, in my case, I'll probably have about 10, like, oh, I don't know, maybe 5 of 1s, 3 level 2s, couple of level 3 spells. Nah, that's, it's all, it's all in one magic pool. I keep mentioning that because that's, like, the defining difference, which is why the playlist does not mention anything about the other versions. Uh, because this game plays differently to that, plus it has more content than those ones. So... Yeah, that's why it goes to, from GBA to the latest version of this version, which will be on iOS and uh, 3DS. But with that, I'm going to just uh, beat on these guys, and I'm going to meet you guys back at the Great Marsh. And I got a nice crit on that, that was pretty sweet. Um, I have a feeling I'm pretty close to a level here. I didn't actually check my experience when I was checking Flo and Daewoo's magic level. But anyway, yeah, I'll meet you back at the Great Marsh, because we're going to have to go splunking in there. And we're back in here! No level ups on the way back, but look at my money! I could have... If I go back now, I could actually buy that last spell. <laughs> Just going backwards and forwards gives you enough money. It's crazy, if you fight every battle. I ran away from a couple, but that don't matter. I don't need Diara Di for anything, really. But we need to go downwards this time! We did upwards in the end last episode, we're going down this time. Is there anything this way, though? Nope. That's a dead end. Red herring. So yeah, I know that we were told to go north in Elfheim to a castle, which, if I access the map, would obviously be somewhere in this direction. Um, but uh, I want to come through here first because it's the first stop on the way. It's also a dungeon, so you would naturally want to check it out beforehand, and that's what you want to do. Now, hang on. This annoys me. This floor is... is I think this is the only other floor, but it is a little bit of an annoyance. What you want to do is stop from the top and run across and go through every room you can possibly go in. So we're at the edge of the map right now, so... Oh, that's annoying. So, let's go up here first. Nothing in this room! That's a waste of time. Anything in here? This is where we came in, of course. So, anything else in this direction? No. But we have got battles, and now we've got gargoyles, like these guys can glare you as well. So, yeah, everyone just likes to paralyze your teammates here. At least we took one of them out already. Bash him with a hammer. 69 damage on Flo, thanks for that joke. I do not approve at the moment. Bloody hell, why'd you hit Flo twice? That's 100 HP down the drain immediately. Excuse you. Wow. And she's not supposed to get hit often because she's lower in the party. Pull yourself up. You did you, you, three, ten. Mm, you just do that. That'll do. Do it twice. That there. Yeah, that was that was definitely enough. That was annoying. Oh, hang on. There we go. All right. Ah, ah. See, this chest is already opened. I talked about this in the last episode. Because we've already opened a chest that contains this specific treasure, those two chests are linked. No matter which one we open up, that item will be taken, and the other chest that is linked to it, or any other chest that links to that specific item in the code, will be open, because we've technically already picked it up. Similar to the lamp in A Link to the Past, in the first three chests of the game, being the one in your house, the one in the uh, basement, and the one in Zelda's cell. 
The only difference by in A Link to the Past to this one is that once you get the lamp in any of those three chests, the other two chests will contain five rupees. So yeah, that room is now open. I wouldn't be able to tell you what item was part of that, and I'm not going to look it up because that seems like a waste of time and very pointless and arbitrary. And we got more gargoyles, so let's uh, think about this a bit more actually. Can we put these guys to sleep? That would be nice. I believe that these guys would be weak to fun, um, thunder because they've they got wings, but then again it might also be ice because they're dragon type, they look dragon type, so maybe it's just ice. Plus that's flying as well I guess, so there you go. But yeah, I can put these guys to sleep, so now I can just wait on them. Not have any care in the world. The only problem that I have with dungeons is that the encounter rate seems a little bit high, but then again I'm dashing, so maybe it's not so bad, because when I'm watching when I was watching Pro Jared do the NES version, um, encounters weren't that that often, and he was making a lot of headway in terms of movement. But wow, um, Crawler is new, and you attack him twice. He's not supposed to get hit that often. What three times? <laughs> See, stuff like that just makes me think. Okay, how does that work? But okay, okay, fine. I see what you're doing. Let's uh, just whack one of you two out of the way, and uh, you're undead. I'm so tempted. But yeah, what I was saying about dungeons is that um, because you have a dash button in this in the uh, remakes, random encounters just go off faster because you're covering less distance. You're covering more distance more quickly, so they feel more often. If I wasn't using the dash button, then it probably would be not not fighting as much and as often. And this is pretty bad and what a situation I'm kind of in right now. Oh, what well, I give for fire right now? I, I, maybe I should start using that. I mean, this would be perfect for this particular instance. Four hits! Lord. We're all paralyzed right now, so I can't move. I'm going to be losing turns here. Yeah, I should have ran when I had the chance. I, I, I don't even know. Eight damage! At least he's only doing... If they keep attacking Zest, that's fine. Because he can tank the hits. Come on! I can't, I cannot, literally not do anything. And I cast Dire on that turn as well before Flo got paralyzed, so I didn't even have a chance to hit them all at once. And uh, Daewoo got paralyzed before he could do anything. Oh, Zest is back in the game, but everyone is weak. I feel like I want to attempt running. Run! Run! Please! I only have one Phoenix down. Stop hitting. Stop hitting. Sober. I can run. Okay. This is annoying. I'm going to give Sober a potion. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Come on. Dead. And he's gone. And now Flo gets up. Literally one attack too late, Flo. One attack too late. Just heal the rest of us. We're not going to survive this battle. I'm going to run. I'm not going to win this battle now, mainly because I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to win this battle. I'm going to flee. If it's the last thing I do. Mainly because I don't want Sorba to be the only one who's a little bit lower in experience to everyone else. Because like I said at the beginning of the game, everyone get levels up at the exact same time. And of course, Flo was the one who got that. Let me see everyone's luck and speed. 12, 20... Are you serious? Zest had more luck than Flo, and yet Flo was the one who was able to run. Okay. Okay. What about speed? Speed isn't a thing. It's more of evasion in this case. And Flo had more than Zest. Okay, I don't know. That That's super annoying. We do have one Phoenix down we can use. I don't like using the only item that I do have. And only then, look at that. You see that? For a second there, one HP. Phoenix Downs are so shit that they only revive you from knockout or wounded or whatever it's called. But that's all it does. It doesn't even give you like one potion's worth of health just to begin with. So yeah, using Phoenix Downs in battle is not exactly good because if you revive them, they're just going to get knocked out again immediately. Unless you're able to predict that, oh, if I use a Phoenix Down, and this person uses the potion, it will act in a way that, oh, it will be in this order, and it will actually keep him alive, but no. 
most of the time that ain't gonna happen, so that is very annoying. Very, very annoying. I am mad. <sighs> okay, let's just uh, do this. Yeah, I'll do. Alright, back in the game at least. Let's go into this one. No, that's not what I already did. I want to go back up this way. That's the one we were in. Okay, so I want to be down here. I want to go across this way. That's a chest that was linked to another one we've already opened. It's always good to check. And this one takes us to the next area, don't it? Yep. I want to go back this way. All of a sudden, no encounters. There we go. I think I'm at the bottom of the map. Not too sure. And holy crap. <laughs> yeah, things are heating up here. To say the very least. Um, this is the time. Oh yeah, I have Thunder as well. I forgot about that. This is what I should have done in the last battle, but I didn't think it was going to go that bloody poorly. I didn't think everyone was able to paralyze me and keep stacking it slash renewing it. But there you go. It cost me a phoenix down. 500 yield down the drain. I was talking about stuff. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's what we should do more often. The problem is that it eats up a lot of magic. Is this getting level? F HP of 30. Sorba, HP of 24. Very nice. Flow, HP of 26, MP of 5, not the best. Plus 2 HP, 17 MP for Daewoo. Not bad. So let me have a, let me have a little look here. Yeah, 15 each. Compared to the, um, the, fi the free that we use for sleep. You see how that's going to eat up our magic very quickly. And we have no way on restoring our magic at this stage in the game. I don't even think tents can. Oh yeah, tents can, but we can't use them in dungeons, so we'd have to leave the dungeon in order to do that. Yeah, we're at the bottom of the map, so we need to go back this way. Just a bunch of ghouls. Nothing too dramatic there. Let's go down here. In fact, what does Dyer do again? Is that a 10? Is, Di is Dyer a 10? No, Dyer's a 5. Okay, so it's not that costly that it is to cure, but still is a little. Okay, this is the one that's a massive grid. We want to go into every one of these rooms. There we go. Just replace our Phoenix down and we had a waste. That's very nice. Yeah, so I want to go all the way across on this part of the floor. And then I want to go basic. Yeah, this room is basically a massive grid. I think it's four by four. Hey! I was going to cut this bow out, but they just hit Daewoo twice again. Zest blocked that attack completely. You know, that's annoying. Why can't everyone wield a bloody shield? Because it's like, the most defensive character without any equipment does the most damage and also has like the most defense because he can equip everything. But he doesn't need a shield because he's already got all that bloody defense. But yet the people who are super weak and they can't equip armor, you would at least expect that you could equip them with a shield, but no, you can't do that either. So it's like, death upon death upon death. Luckily I brought a few uh, antidotes for this particular situation. There we go. Potion on you. Potion on you. We're running low on potions. There's nothing in this room. But yeah, this room is, I believe, is a 4x4 grid. Or something along those lines. But if you, as long as you just go along in one line, you should be clearing every room out. Werewolf. Yeah, I'm leaving a lot of these battles in because they're kind of tough. Dire. Uh, actually, don't want to... Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll do... A fire on the other one that I haven't attacked yet. Just to even out the damage. Or they could just one-shot them. That'd be nice. Maybe I won't use magic next time. What? Okay! Where, what, where enemies do not take damage from light? Okay! I thought they did because they're technically undead. I would assume. I, I mean, it's dark magic if anything else. So... You could see how I would think that that would have been effective, but yeah, of course I get poisoned on the final attack. Thanks. Bloody Poisoner is a level 4 spell, so I can't even learn that yet, so we have to run all on antidotes. 295 gil, that's not the best. And we're at the edge of the map, I think? Yep, we're at the edge of the map. Alright, so I want to go down here, and we'll go this way. Empty room. Empty room. Just here to make you waste your time. One of the, that chest was something that we've already grabbed. But there's a cottage. That's helpful. 
I think that's basically a tent, but better. So, a tent partially restores HP and MP, but a cottage in your pocket, mind you, fully restores HP and MP. So, that's cool. The thing is that when it says partially, it doesn't tell you how much. I think it does it halfway. That would make the most sense, or it does everything by 50. What's in this one? Copper armlet! Well, at least we don't have to buy one now. Who do we want to give that to? Everyone can equip that, right? Yeah, every, literally everyone can equip it. It's a universal item, so that's cool. I know that Sorba didn't need it because he said that his stats were equal, but I don't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew, I knew it. Even though they said... Right, now here's the thing. When you're buying equipment, if it says that this item is equal to the, equip, the, the stuff that this character already has equipped, where in this case, when we were looking at the copper armlet, Sorba said it was equal to his leather armor in this case. And technically it is. The only thing is, it doesn't check for evasion, as in, like, the, the weight of the equipment. And in this case, the leather armor is more heavy than an armlet, because an armlet is just, like, a, I believe just, like, a bracelet or something. Well, leather is, like, your whole entire body, and that can limit your movement just a smidge. It's not heavy, but it can limit your movement because it's leather, you know? So, with just an armlet, it's a lot easier to move around, like, logically. So, in this case, the copper armlet is better than the leather armor because it raises our evasion stat. But, it doesn't do anything for our attack, accuracy, and defense, which are the ones that activate the most in battle. So, if we optimize here, oddly enough, it does actually count that, take that into account. But when you're in stores, it doesn't, which makes no sense to me. But that don't matter because I want to give the I want to give it to someone else. I think I want to give it to Daewoo because he hasn't got as much health as Flo. But Flo, but Daewoo, like I said, Daewoo takes more damage than any for anyone else anyway. I mean, like it's just yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, he's got less HP than Flo, so that's my reason for giving Daewoo the copper armlet above Flo. But in this case, we don't we only need to buy two of those armlets now because this has got everything that's better anyway. So, yeah. Plus, I need a heal, Daewoo. That's a thing. In fact, does anyone else need healing? I guess I could go with that. Yeah, I'll just do that. Why not? Whack it on everyone. Yeah, I'll do. That was worth it. Right, so... We need to go down again. Empty room. Oh, okay. This is the item. This is the item that we've come here for. But it won't let us open the chest in any other direction. Then this is the case where if we take a step, we're going to be in a sequenced encounter. This is a sequenced encounter space. Told you. And it is these things. Pi... Pisodemon? Piscodemon? Piscodemon? <laughs> I don't know. Piscodemon. I'm going to just say that because it splits it up in... Or... No, I'm going to call it Pisodemon. That sounds better. The thing is, you can have up to one to three, and I've got the most worst one imaginable. The reason being is because these guys can cast death on you. Not fun. So I want to kill these things as quickly as possible. So I'll target the top one with both my fighters for now. Actually, oh, that's a thing. Warrior used to be called fighter. Uh, they're not. They're not undead. I know that. Cures darkness, raises one analyzed defense. I'm trying to think here, because this is technically the boss of this area, but it's not really a boss. Raises one analyzed defense. Ugh, this is tough. I don't think I can do anything. I could try dire. No, it viz. It viz. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast it on Sorba. Okay, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. I think they have magic resistance. That would make sense, because they look like sorcerers. So, I've got to think of something here. Blinds all foes with darkness, that might be the right thing to do. Because I think they resist sleep. I'm going to try darkness first. Lower their accuracy. Okay, stop it. That! Ah, they do a lot of damage as well. Oh my god, Sorba, 75 HP. I'm, I'm glad that that finally got cast on you. He's doing four hits a turn now. So the first one's now down. That did not work at all. That annoys me. I believe these guys can cast death. I do remember seeing this sprite knocking my characters out like crazy. I'm going to have to use a heal. Um, let's try sleep then. 
stop it with the damage. They're actually doing a lot of damage to Zest as well. Even though he's got the most HP, so that ain't really that big of an issue. He's dropping. And he gets hit the most, so it makes sense. That don't work either. They resist. They just resist. I knew they resist magic. It's just that it was worth a try. Okay. Everyone wail on him! Ah, Sorba! 91 HP with raised evasion, mind you. Fair. Why did I cast Invis in the first place? So he wouldn't take any more damage. And then he gets a bloody crit on him, which does even more than the 75 he took last time. Thanks. Well, we got a lot of money for that. And... We have obtained the crown! And that's what we came for. But right, I'm going to step off that sp space now. If I walk back onto that space, that battle will trigger again. I'm not joking. Do not do that. You have no reason to. You've got nothing to prove. That's what we came for. However, I do believe we've got to come back here again at some point. We're, lo we're losing a lot of magic at this point. Yeah, I'm due. Right, um... So that was our first cure usage. We've got lots of money. But we're not done here yet. Okay, we've got another item here. 385 gil. Not bad. Always take. Ah! Oh, great ooze. Even though that clearly looks blue. I think these guys are weak to... Physical attacks? Yes. Ma they, these ones resist magic. These ones resist magic, so just bash it and there you go. That chest has been a chest that we have opened before in some other area. And look what we need to come back for! This is super annoying. Because of the random encounters. This door has been bound by the Mystic Key, so what places have we got to use the Mystic Key on now? we got to use it at the Elfheim Castle, which we get the Mystic Key, because we know that the Elfheim Prince has it, but he's ill right now, he's knocked out, he can't wake up. So we need to go to Matoya to get the tonic, but she's lost her crystal. We just got a crown, and we haven't been to this other castle that we were told about in Elfheim yet. So maybe that goes there. And... Yeah, it, it just goes everywhere. And now we've got to come back here as well, as well as Elfheim and Cornelia Castle, because they're all bound by the Mystic Key. That kind of annoys me, and... Is the Mystic Key a Keyblade? <laughs> is it, like, just a teeny-weeny Keyblade? Yeah, we can't go to any of these, it sucks. So yeah, I'm just going to say right now, don't bother with the lower-level rooms at this point, because there is literally no point. We can't do any of the, any of the stuff with them, so... I'm just going to ignore them for now and go straight into this one, is it? No, nope. it's the one above. Is it just literally the one above the, um... No, is it... Did I go away? No. Oh, God. Where's the exit? This is the exit, right over here. No. Where's the exit? Oh, I hate this. I thought I had it. No. Uh. How? I was about to say, how have I not encountered anything yet? Good lord, that took forever. And this is bad. This was the. Right. Blood Bones is new as well now. Last time we had two of these guys in the back row was just skelly mobs. I'm taking you out for. No, I'm taking you now, down now. Thanks to you, old man. Right, here we go. This is what we're doing. Uh. Dire, why not? And fire! Let's go! And of course, the first attack paralyzes me. Sucks. Right, that will hit those guys. That took all them out, so it helps. Now do all the damage to this, because it's not getting split as much. Ooh, 123! There we go, day woo! Awesome! Alright. That was some retribution right there. Where is this bloody room to get out of here? No, it's not this far over. I'm lost. This is why I hate this dungeon. Getting out is a pain in the butt. I say what, what, in the butt. No, I almost walked into that space. That sucked. Right, I've got to go. No. That's not the one either. I, I don't know. Oh, it wasn't even in a room. I was... F uh, whatever. We're on, we're on the way out now. This is easy. 
just got to come up around this way. Oh, no, wait, no. Oh, right, I remember now. This room's blocked off. You have to go down and around this way in order to get through and around. So, but yes, this is the one that's in the room. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, now we're on the way out. That was my mistake. It's at the very top left corner. So I always get mixed up with those two floors. I really do. And I'm surprised I didn't get a single wing count on the way out of there. But yeah, there we gizzle. So, I am going off screen to make my way back to Elfheim once again. And I'll meet you guys there at the beginning of the next episode. Let's just have a look see. I'm, oh, I'm quite close to the next level, actually. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make my way back there now. And I'll cut out all the battles on the way back. Because we've pretty much seen every encounter up to this point. So, I'll meet you guys back at Elfheim. And any level ups I get on the way, I will show off. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Depending if I get into a random encounter. There we go. And with that battle out of the way, we are finally back. And I did not get a level up, but we were super close. In fact, you know what, screw it. We're doing one more battle. We're literally that close to a level up. Why am I not going to take the opportunity? Oh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, you, you know what? I'm just going to have a bit of fun. Look, defend, 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 and you can just kill them with fire. It's a good thing as well that we got, that we got back, because even though we weren't running low on health, because I like how everyone has at least got 100 down the line, even though Daewoo was still a little bit behind in terms of everyone else. I can do this! Dead! In one hit! And that makes me happy. And there we go, level up. Zest got 6 HP. Sorba getting free. HP for 24 for, for flow, that's not bad. 15 MP as well for Daewoo. 2 HP, 7 MP. Well, there we go. Let me guess, they got a while to go now? Yeah, they got definitely a while to go now, so that's very cool. But anyway, we are now back at Elfheim. That was the only level up we gained on the way. Enemies on the way back and forth now are not that big of an issue. And in the next episode, guys, after we do some more restocking and get more equipment that we need to, because we can't... Uh, wait, can we use level 4 magics right now? I don't keep me moving on the map there. Yes, we can actually use level 4 magics right now, but we're not going to be able to afford that much. So I'm going to have to decide on what I want to do in the next episode. I'll probably leave level 4 magics for now, because we've only just started using level 3 magic. So there we go, but... Keeping that in mind, in the next episode, guys, we head north to that castle that was talked about in Elfheim. Because we still can't do anything about the Elfin Prince himself to get the Mystic Key. With that, see you guys next time.